Hi, so I just wanted to talk you through changing the Charisma images that we have either on download or CD-ROM or even USB now um, from Tattered Lace. So we can change the colours easily as you probably know with the rainbow or the hue slider but what if you want to pick out a few colours and keep them a different colour. So for example, I want my floral element here to be blues but I want to keep the leaves green so I'm going to show you in this short tutorial quickly how to do that in Minecraft Studio. So Minecraft Studio will be on your CD-ROMs and on your USBs usually as long as it's not a click print and go CD-ROM. So here I'm just showing you some of the different colour combinations you can get but as you can see as we're going through the leaves are changing tones as well so they're not staying the greens. Um, the best option I've got here is the blue flowers and just then changing the leaves back to green. It's the quickest way of doing it. If I just change my hue or my rainbow slider to blues, I find I get a blue tinge to the green at the moment. So that's about the closest I'm going to get. As you can see, I've now got almost a grey tinge to the leaves. So I want them really bright green for my project. So what I'm going to do first of all is drag and drop my file into the workspace. I'm not touching those little squares on the outside, that will resize. We don't want to resize, we just want to change the colour. Now I've selected my image and then I've selected the lasso knife tool. And I can simply hold down my mouse key and drag around the shape of one of the flowers. doesn't matter which one at this stage, just pick one and go roughly around it. Now because we have a bleed line around the edge, we don't have to be too precise either. I'm going very quickly just to get this all done for you in the shortest video possible. So once you've gone around that, if you zoom out, you'll see you've got copy button underneath the workspace. Press that and then up at the top, you need to press paste. You'll see in your layers tab that you've got your full image and then you've got the single flower that you've just pasted. Now select your full image again and go back lasso tool and go round another flower. We're going to keep doing this around each of the flowers, any of the elements that you'd like to change the colour of. I would pick one part of the image to be your background which I'm going to have as my leaves so I don't need to go around all of those and just go around each of the flowers. Again copy and paste and you'll see in the layers tab that flower is now as a separate layer and you've got the two there. I'm just doing them, unticking them so that I can't see them and it won't distract me whilst I'm using my lasso tool. So here I've just sped up going around each flower copying and pasting for you. You don't need to sit and watch me do this with each one. As you can see it's not too slow a process actually probably takes me 10 minutes to go around each one but you've only got to do this with one colourway on your CD-ROM because once you've done one you can then save the image and you can go back to it again and again and edit those layers for your projects that you need. You don't need to go around every single colourway. Just the three of the images here and then we'll go around the separate elements for the decoupage as well. So what I'm going to do now is deselect everything except my first full image. I'm going to go up into the effects tab and I'm going to change the saturation, play around with all of these sliders that I've got here until those leaves are the right colour. I'm only worrying about the leaves, I'm not looking at the colours of the flowers at all at the moment. So I want to take it to a, a yellowy green colour. I'm going to pull the saturation up a little bit so it's brighter. Again, change that hue slightly. Um, I might brighten this up a little bit as well. Um, you can change with the opacity, the contrast, you've got the rainbow effect there. Have a play with everything until you're happy with the colour you've got in the backgrounds there. So I'm just checking through my slider to make sure there's nothing more suitable that I like. Um, I like around the yellows, but I think I'm going to come back to the greens there. So once you are happy and you've gone down, you've played with all the sliders, you know that you can't get it anything closer to what you're after, then it's time to start going in and adjusting your flowers. 
So go back to the Layers tab, and if you reselect everything, highlight everything so you can see it with the tick boxes, you can see all your flowers coming back into your workspace in their original colours. Just make one of those blue, you see the blue box around it, so I'm going to go for this orange flower first. Go into Effects and do the same thing as you did with the leaves. By having that blue box around the description, that means you're working on that element only. And you can see as I slide the hue slider, that flower is going yellow, green, blue. I want these blues, so I'm going to hover around a blue there. I can come back and edit that a bit more later. I'm now going to go for these mauve coloured, these wine colour flowers, but I want to select all of them. So what I'm now going to do is press down my shift key and select all of them together. I want them the same shade and it's easier than doing them all separately to do all five together. So I've selected those and again I'm going to go in and find a blue tone for these as well. But as you slide through you might find a different colour that you really like. I've gone for more of a navy blue there. So that's around about right. So then back to your layers again. And we've got a pink flower there we need to change. This one's going to be more of a grey colour. I want this quite an elegant um, cluster of flowers. So I'm going to go with a grey there. So I'm happy with all of those. That is my cluster. I'm going to print that off now. Now, when you're saving your image... Just make sure when you go to save as that you're saving it wherever you like on your computer. So I've named it Blue Autumn Allure because that's from the Autumn Allure collection in my desktop. But make sure you're saving it as a craft project, not a JPEG or anything like that. This means that when you go back into it another time, you've got all of those layers there to easily edit. So of course you could go in, you could choose just one of the flowers. So if we take this grey one. You can then change those colours on just that again. If you flatten it into a JPEG, you're not going to have the option of doing that. You're going to have to then go in and do the lasso tool or the scissors tool again and select everything and separate it all once more. So here's the final piece. And we can see that I've got all the blue tones there layered up. I've also taken the same effect and applied it to the decoupage pieces on the Charisma as well and then printed them all out, die cut them and layered them up. So that's a simple, easy way to change the colours of each of the individual flowers and the leaves on your floral Charismas.